What is null? In our tables, we have rows that contain data. And as you can see in the rows, they contain text, numbers, or dates. But what if there is no data for a particular column or record? What is shown? If there is no data, an empty value is stored. This is called null, and it means there is nothing stored in this column for this record. So why would you use null and not zero or none or na? It's because these values might have specific uses and might be legitimate. If you're using a number field, then zero might be a valid value. You also want to differentiate between records that have a value entered that might represent zero or none, and records where nothing has been recorded at all. So why would a null occur? There are many reasons that a null could occur, and it depends on how your database is used. A couple of examples are that optional values on a user entered form are left empty, and no data is captured. A new column is added to an existing table so a null value is used for all existing records. We need to use different keywords when looking for null values. If we wanted to find records in a table that match a certain value, as we learned earlier, we would say where column equals value. But we can't use this format with null. We can't say where column equals null. It won't give us any results. We need to change the query slightly and make it say where column is null. The reason that the equal sign doesn't work is due to the way that Oracle stores and defines null values. I won't go into the details in this lesson, but you can use is null instead of equals null. If you want to find records where a value is not null, instead of using exclamation mark equals null, you can use is not null. Not is a keyword that reverses what you're asking for. Is null can then be changed to is not null. The NOT keyword can be used in several other places, which we'll look at in later videos. If you run a query, you might see some columns that have null values. They are displayed in SQL Developer as the word NULL in brackets. However, when working with applications to query this data, the value will be NULL or empty. Let's see some examples of NULL values. This query here will show us some NULL values. If we run this query, we can see that this record here has a null value for the column of salary. SQL Developer will show a null as bracket, null, and then close bracket. Now, let's filter these results so we only see the null records. We remove this employee ID check here. Then we can say where salary is null. And then we can run that query. You can see there are two records where the salary is null. How about we show the records where there are no null values for this column? We would change this WHERE clause to say where salary is not null. And then run the query. If we scroll down to where that record 56 would be, you can see it's not shown here. It's excluded because the salary is null. So that's how you can see and filter on null values in SQL. Next, we'll take a look at how to get unique records in your select statements.